Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Today I've got a fun collaboration with you between myself and Textures and uh, Sam Calcott and Made to Surprise. So we did this a few weeks ago, maybe last month, and uh, we had so much fun and we know you all did too. So um, we wanted to do it again. This time I've gone for the Made to Surprise double slider collection and I've got the square double slider there and then I've teamed it with mostly with my textures vintage travel. This is a mini album that I've created for my daughter. It's going to document uh, our travels to Paris I think so um, I'm going to put some personal photos and notes in there afterwards but uh, hopefully you'll be inspired by this everything we've used is linked in the description below please do go and check out Sam's of course and if you've come over from Sam's and you're new to my channel welcome um, thank you so much for joining me and I'd love it if you could give me a thumbs up or even a subscribe like I say, everything is linked below, but also check out the description. There may even be a little bit of an offer for you for textures and made to surprise. Um, I'll say no more because that is time limited. So just see in the description whether that's still available. And yeah, have fun and I'll see you in a moment for the full tutorial. So for this project, I've used the Made to Surprise uh, double slider collection. I love this. I mean, I love kinetic cards and in all honesty, I very very rarely have the patience to do all the court scoring and the cut lines and that's where made to surprise is brilliant because it does everything for you um the brand has um loads of different kinetic cards that you can make moving cards um but i chose this one because i thought it would make a really fun sort of uh, mini album type card so something that you're going to be able to display but holds memories it can hold tickets it can hold photos but they all sort of got hidden away um, as you gift it and opens up so I've already gone ahead and I have cut the main pieces that I need for this and that's the two now it doesn't have to be uh, double the way I'm doing it so you don't have to do it with um, four pop four tabs coming out you can do it with two so because I want four tabs coming out I've cut two of the mechanism pieces and that's these from craft card stock I've cut myself uh, three of these sort of main bases and that's one for the back one for in between the two mechanisms and then one for the front and then I've also cut myself my four tabs from this lovely olive green cardstock um, and this I've also included the stitch detail around the edge and then um, to go on top of these and I'll show you how they fit because they fit perfectly I've got the mats and layers now for these I used my textures uh, vintage travel papers as you can see there's lots of different designs in here all with a vintage feel to them so i've used two tabs with the tickets on and then i'm going to have two tabs that have these sort of photos and memorabilia and things like that on because this is going to be a photo album for later on so uh, I've got all, all those cut as well and I'll put those together in a moment now other items as I say I've got the papers from textures vintage travel I've also got for my sort of main um embellishment on the front I'm using the vintage travel gray board so this has a hot air balloon um, the globe and also a camera in there and it's the camera that I'm going to be working with inside so I'll be breaking this open um, I absolutely love this and if you do do have any of the vintage travel die sets the, the camera the globe or the um, hot air balloon um, I think the hot air balloon sold out um, or is it the camera I think the camera sold out but the oh, I can't remember there's one of them sold out um, have a look on craft stash but these do line up they match absolutely perfectly so you can layer with your die cuts over the top of the grey board so then lastly for my sentiment I'm going to use the sentiment time flies because you know we're looking at memories um, and I use my wildflowers set so textures wildflowers the large sentiments there's four in the pack and I just thought time flies and that lovely gold is beautiful so I'm going to put together the mechanism for this first of all now uh, I'll speed this up so you can see um, what I'm doing still but all the instructions detailed instructions on how to put this together will be over on Sam's channel so you can go and have a look at that um, but essentially I'll put this together so the mechanism works and then we'll get decorating
Now I'm starting to get on to the decorating part. I've got all my mechanism working. So this will essentially be an album that can um, be given in an envelope or probably a box envelope because of the depth of it. Um, but when it's opened up, I'm going to have all the memorabilia. Uh, so photos on here, you can put tickets and such. So I'm going to leave it blank for now because I've got some personal photos that I want to put on there. So I want to get them printed off. Um, but I'll show images at the end if I've got it completed um, before I edit this video. Um, but yeah, so you can close everything up as well. Now this would be fantastic for something like a baby brag book um, or a welcome baby sort of thing with the, the new photos and the weight and the time of day that the baby was born, all these sorts of things. It could be a wedding invitation. So with each tab, you've got, you can have a photo of the couple, of course, but you can have the venue, the time and date, the menu choices, uh, the RSVP, maybe as a tear away on here as well. Uh, that would be absolutely fantastic. And there's so many options with this, but I really wanted to go down the mini album, uh, almost like a little mini journal, um, sort of travel, book or travel memorabilia type scrapbook as such so lots of different categories that this would fall into so anyway let's get on with decorating so for decorating i'm going to put ground espresso around the edge just to darken these so like i say this paper and the papers i've used inside are from the vintage travel paper pack this is a gorgeous old vintage map i love it i'm dreading the day that i run out of these papers because i use them a lot um, and just by going around the edge here i'm kind of just making the edges look a bit burnt and aged to the right size for the front of the album there we go so that's going to sit on there you see how that just frames it beautifully so let's give that a wipe and another thing I'm going to do to this to add even more to the frame, <clears throat> excuse my throat today, uh, I'm going to add some faux stitching as well which is something that I used to do to all my projects and actually lately I don't do as much. Now I'm going to do this with um, this, it's not a paper piercing tool, it's actually a haberdashery tool um, and you should do this on a rubber mat or a foam mat but what I've got is my Creative Craft Products um, stamping platform has a foam base and I tend to have this to hand all the time. I'm just going to pierce the edges here. And I'm not worried about it being perfectly straight because I want it to look like um, sort of, well, vintage old stitching. It might not be perfect. I like the sort of distressed look. Now that's quite subtle. I'm not sure, you can probably see it better on the back there, look. And that's going to just add some texture around the edge to that. Now I might even actually go in as well, and I'm going to put this tool away, it's very sharp. So I'm just going to put that away. I just noticed my camera's off a little bit. Let's straighten that up there. Um, I'm going to go around with a white gel pen. And just drag over the dots here just to kind of highlight that all my white pens running out let's pick another one that's better and just jump over the dots with a white pen and brush it in so it's not too harsh not too bright hear me clicking over the dots that's just going to make it look a bit like the faux stitching, make it stand out a bit more. And one more at the top there. Okay, so next stage is the fun part. So let's glue this on and then we're going to look at the grey board. And the grey board is fabulous to work with the coordinating dies, but you can absolutely use it on its own. And what I want on this, because this is going to have photos inside, um, I'd like to put a camera on the front and I'd like to make it really distressed. Now, as I say, I'm going to be using the Times Fly, Time Flies as sort of the title on here somewhere, but I'll worry about the position of that once I've got the camera done. So let's open this grey board. Now, just bear in mind, the grey board is laser cut. So uh, when you take out the packaging, you may find, not always, but you may find that you get... Um, from the edges where they're sort of burnt edges you might get some brown on you 
So I'm going to pop out each of the layers of the camera just here. So you've got circles. So this circle, for example, pop that to the side, you'll use that again. So I'm going to pop these pieces out. And just so you can see as well, you've got the, oh, I've used the globe, or is it in there? I've already used the globe from this one, but you've got the globe, the full globe shape. You've got the, the world grid there, you can use that one. You can use the uh, the actual continents as well. You can use them by layering them up either way. It doesn't matter. Um, but what you're then left with as well, of course, is some wonderful stencils and things like this, the circles from the inside that you can use. But we're focusing on the camera today. So I'm just going to get all these pieces popped out. So there's my camera pieces. Now I need to work out how I'm going to decorate them. I'd like to have the frames and the 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 i suppose it's the like the the lens finder the um, focus dial i'd like to have these um kind of metallic probably gold um and these are going to be darker but i'd like to add a little bit of a patina to these too so the first thing i'm going to do is pop these ones to the side and start adding some ink to these now i'm going to go back in again with ground espresso for the first layer vintage this up a little bit distress this a little bit with some uh, ink spray keep that away from my album and just do some random bits there um, making sure i'm cleaning everything up as i go now because i've got um ink and such on there i can now go on with some water and do some just as i would if i was creating a background just do some water splats and that's going to start adding texture to the camera hopefully you can just see that there where that's starting to uh, really give it some some texture some uh, watermarks in there um, looking really lovely like i say i'd like to add a bit of a patina effect but i think i'm going to actually add that to the metal instead and i'll pop those to the side let's work on these three pieces next now these like i say i'd like these to be a gold so i'm going to bring in uh rusty oh let's go gathered twigs i think so I'll start with a brown base but it's a much warmer brown than ground espresso is now there's little pips on the gray board of course to hold it together you can use a little craft knife or some snips to need to nose up but I quite like to leave them I quite like the the effect of having uh, some rough texture to the edges a little bit there we go so that's my going to be gold pieces now let's see about adding to this now some green um, the lucky clover is quite a oh do you know what it makes sense to add salvage patina doesn't it salvage patina I'm just going to brush that direct from the pad over areas just catching on the edges there we go let's do it on a larger piece you can really see the effect that that will have so I've got two options here I've actually got Faber Castell Gelato, which I've not used in a long, long time. It's quite precise. This one's uh, Odyssey, but it's a metallic yellowy colour, so it's virtually a gold. Um, I've got that, or I've got uh, acrylic paint here. Now, I'm not sure if the daubers still damp. Very often the daubers do dry up quite quickly, but I've got the paint in there. I think I might go with the paint first. So I'm just going to take a little brush and pick a tiny bit up and let's just brush it in some areas just brush and dab or sort of on and off just to give it a bit of a let's rub that in there we go so we've got the the glint of gold in there let's put it against the black you can see lovely yeah i like that i'm going to go around the edges of these just again dab on and off 
just to give that sort of glint of that it was once old metal. Now I've decided to add on another embellishment and that's going to be a bit of a film strip on the front. I might even end up putting some of these on the pages inside too. But um, what I'm doing is I've taken this from my Mariposa collection, which is this one. So the Mariposa Designs die set and it's got four pieces much larger than you see in the, on the front of the packet. As you can see, this is the film strip there. It's huge. Let's just move that out of the way so you can see it. There we go. And it's got all these beautiful butterflies in it. So I'm going to take out the words and take out the butterflies. So I'm just left with the blank film strip. And then inside the film strip, I'm probably going to cut out some elements from the pattern paper again and kind of just insert them back into uh, where I've taken this design from. So it looks like an actual film strip. So there we have the finished front of the album. We've got the grey board camera there and you can see you've got the gold highlights. They just glint then a very vintage gold on there. I actually need to put uh, a little something there for like the flash. Um, I have found some old cogs within my stash. There's that film strip that I created using the Mariposa film strip, which of course had the butterflies in it. And then I've got the word time flies. I love the gold because it just glints in the highlight and it just sits there nicely over the top, kind of uh, just laid over. So it looks like everything's piled on top. Lots and lots of dimension there. So it's definitely one worth uh, giving in a box or hand delivering. Within the centre of the camera there, inside the lens, I've put, uh, again, one of these kind of image, photo, photograph image cutouts that comes from the paper pack. So just pop that inside as well. Um, you can, of course, personalise that and put a different photo, like one of your own photos inside there. And then these, as I say, these elements will all be decorated um, when I have my photos all sort of printed off and ready. I'll probably do my photos in grayscale, in black and white, so as not to compete with all the other colours going on. Um, and yeah, that's going to be a personal project. Uh, I've got tags here within the papers so I can write elements on here if I want to. I can include tickets as well. Um, I might actually use that frame and put a small photo in there so it looks as if it's sitting inside the frame. Um, but yeah, so that is an absolutely lovely gift. Now, so I hope you've enjoyed watching this, watching me put this together and decorate it and give it a bit of a vintage feel. Hopefully very different to anything that Sam will have made. And don't forget, of course, to check out the description below. We might have a little special offer for you um, and that, that is time limited. So if you're catching up on this, you may well not um, be able to get that now but uh, definitely check the description for the details and of course go over to Sam's uh, yeah, Made to Surprise uh, YouTube channel that is linked below and you'll see all the details there everything I've used has a link below so you can go and find the items quickly and easily mostly a craft stash um, and I hope you've enjoyed this and have a lovely rest of your day if you do try a project like this please do let me know I'd love to hear from you drop me a thumbs up and a subscribe if you haven't done already and as always I appreciate all your support take care everybody and I'll see you again very soon